This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash awesomecast. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. From our secret underground bunker in Pittsburgh, PA, it is the awesome cast. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here talking geeky things. And uh, we got the crew in their respective places. Uh, over from Studio C in the Big D is John Chichilla. He's a, he's a gadget guru, a big, inter- big bank international esquire. I forgot the name of it. There it is. There it I thought is. you were going to say he's an intern. <laughs> He's an yes. intern. Yeah, well, you know, every, everything's topsy turvy now, upside down. I mean, you know, you're have you hired? Has your kid become your intern yet? I no, but I will tell you what. He, I don't know what's going on, but like every day at lunchtime, because I've been working through lunch, he comes down and asks me what I want for lunch. Brings lunch down, comes down twenty minutes later. Wow! Picks up the glass and the plate. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yes, I don't. I don't know what's got. I mean, he he takes a break from the Roblox and the the Minecraft and brings Dad some some grub. So I'm I'm pretty thankful for that. Wow, that's impressive. Yeah. Also with us from Studio D, also Animal Animal Cross Island, is Stutters. Hi. Yeah, I'm the Big D in. Wait, I'm Big D Studio Big D in the Big C. I don't remember. <laughs> So are, are you time traveling in in um, Animal Crossing? I hear that's a big thing. I have no, I have not time traveled. I didn't know that was a thing. I keep getting stung you, by wasps, and it makes me sad. Yeah, there, there's some. There's a thing where you set the you can set the date in the future. It like makes things happen quicker. Yeah. Oh, I didn't think about doing that because you pick um like where you're located at, and it syncs with where like right now it's nighttime there at the same time of day as it is here. It's really cool. It's fun to watch but, like the sunset and the sun come up. But things, but things take time. Like there's progression, right? Like when you grow food and stuff. Yeah. So, so yeah. you can you can make things happen faster. Good tip. Hot. T- this is just gonna be a show of hot tips for Animal Crossing: New Horizons. It seems to be the thing. <laughs> that uh, it's, it's Animal Crossing and Doom all weekend. It seems. But anyways, this is the awesome cast where we're talking about whatever is keeping us sane here uh, from the day to day and everything going on uh, these days. You can check out everything at awesomecast.com. Tweet us at awesomecast and hit us at the awesomecast Facebook page and group. A lot of great discussions over happening over the Facebook group. And we got a ton of stories uh, from you guys to share here on the show from that Facebook group. You can also please subscribe to the show on your favorite podcatcher, whether it be a, a Apple Podcasts or a, a Google or yeah, Google Podcasts, Android Podcasts, Google Play Music, YouTube Music Podcasts, YouTube itself, wherever you listen to podcasty things, or ask your uh, Echo or something like that. Uh, also, we're here live every Tuesday at Awesome Cast uh, Facebook page at seven PM Eastern Time, more or less. Maybe we're not on, and maybe I'm just playing some jazzy music. That may be the case Ooh. while you guys are hanging out in the chat room, but we're getting on fine because again, we got nowhere to go for the next several weeks. Uh, and also, thank you to our Patreon. Sub- I'm sorry, our, not, not those yet. Our audio partners, the 405media.com, carrying us, uh, uh, streaming us every day at noon Eastern Time. And our friends at Post Industrial Audio, postindustrial.com, who have been uh, actually doing doing a lot of great coverage about all of the situations going on in the wor- in in our region and and the effects of uh, of of all the shutdowns and lockdowns and everything too. So please go check that out. They got a great daily uh, newsletter uh, that's been uh, following all that stuff. Uh, so really appreciate what they've been doing there. So and. Uh, <laughs> 
Reminder, whoever mentions current events first loses. Trying to make us not think about it, buddy. Man, wait till you get to these stories. Thank you to our Patreon supporters at patreon.com slash awesomecast. Our friends Matt at the Coffee Club level, Matt Weller, John DeGore, and John Carmen. And also our friends at the Fan of the Show level, Dutter's favorite Fedor, Michael Fedor, and Yay. pghmuseums.org. PGH Museums actually are still doing interviews. They've been putting out a couple over the last couple weeks, so um, still some content going out there. And um, I'm sure they're going to be looking at uh, ways that you can get your museuming in uh, virtually because I know there's been a lot of stories coming out uh, generally about that and we might there might be a couple in the rundown we might get to eventually too so uh, you guys please support the show at awesome, uh, patreon.com slash awesome cast I know things are crazy if you got to tighten the belt that's okay but again uh, if, if you want to make sure uh, we can keep the lights on here in the studio uh, <laughs> if you were in the studio sorry chat. yes I'm the first one that loses sorry Scott in the chat room <laughs> <laughs> mentioning current events uh but uh a- anyways thank you everybody that does support the show so let's get into our awesome thing of the week let's forget what's happening in 2020 it's not treating us too good so uh chilla what's going on in 1997 <laughs> so so uh, as things started to occur last week a number of people um took to various social media outlets and said hey is it time to bring back AOL instant messenger mm-hmm. as people were were staying indoors um and that has been answered um 1997.chat for those of you kids out there oh, back boy. in the day there was a thing called AOL instant messenger <laughs> and it you, you know it reading some of the, the, the commentary, right. Um, about this, it, it really was much easier back in, in more simpler times. Um, it, back when aim ICQ, Microsoft messenger, Yahoo messenger, etc. Um, you had buddies and you had a status. You really only chatted one at a time. There was no feed. Um, when you set your next status, the one prior to that went away. When you were offline, no one could message you. Um, it was just much, much simpler. Um, so this person, I don't even know who did this, um, built, rebuilt AOL Instant Messenger, cobbling together a bunch of modern day technologies. He For the chat, he used... Twilio for the interface or use Svelte. It's running on a um, Mongo database um, using a database as a service from MLab. Uh, he's hosting on Heroku, um, which is, I guess, a dead simple platform as a service, as he calls it. Um, he has betas out. There's, I know there's a Mac app, um, so you can download the Mac app. You can add buddies. You can Turn your sound on, and it looks a lot like AOL Instant Messenger. So I'm a, I'm in the uh, web web version of this, the web app version of this, and uh, I, I can't figure out how to add buddies to this. <laughs> unfortunately, I'm trying to figure that out right now. I don't know. Oh, sorry, I might have had some audio going through with you guys. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, it looks like it looks like uh, Instant Messenger for sure. <laughs> so uh, if you want to look for Sorkatron on there. Um, I misspelled my username because <laughs> as I was doing it real quick here. So we'll see if I can change that. I was considering going to, with my old. So, yeah, here's the question. Do you use a new username or, you, or should, should you sign up in the username you used on AOL Instant Messenger? I, I was thinking about that and I'm just going with Chilla because that's my new. Good, good person. What is what is your username? I'll add you. Uh, Apparently, Sorg Strong currently hopefully i can change that um good because i didn't want to have to resurrect the old sir psycho sexy name so <laughs> big chili peppers fan in the sorg s-t-s-o-r-g-s-t-r-o-n-g yeah yeah that's my accidental username there's no user found with that screen name really i just i just signed up okay. you can find chilla um, we'll have to look at this. I'll have to look at this on the app because I don't see. I honestly don't see any way to add somebody on this. But hey, it's an early work in progress, right? So, and then probably that Mac app is going to be a little more. So it's Mac only and web. Okay. Mm-hmm. And there's a medium article about it too. I like that. 
uh, uh, just a just a primer for you guys that haven't done this in a while. ASL is age, sex, location. <laughs> so that's all you need to know about it. Yes, age. and then you just go from there. Uh, so that's what that's what all the kids did back in the day. Uh, Katie, what's your awesome thing? We were talking about a little bit before the show. <laughs> Animal Crossing: New Horizons. Yay! Let me tell you why I love this. <laughs> It's mindless. It's fun. There are tasks. There are rewards. I have things to do every day. It's, <laughs> I've been in isolation much longer, and I need some sort of reba- reba- yeah, reward-based system happening here. You're the expert at this, <laughs> basically. Yeah. And what I also love about it is um, my, my niece just gave me a grass skirt. So my brother and my niece and nephew and my sister-in-law live in uh, state college Mm -hmm. and obviously you know not kind of sticking in our area right now and i probably i you know don't know when i'm gonna get a chance to see them again so hopefully it's soon but she can visit my island and i can visit her island with the power of the internet and so she's four and about it depends on like how busy like how bad the weather is out there we get to play more often when the weather is a little bit worse it seems like Mm -hmm. but she'll come over and we'll play tag and um which is fun, which is just literally us just running around the island chasing each other or we'll um play hide and seek and uh we also play another game where we bury various items on like three different items on the island and we take turns finding them <laughs> so we're making our own fun so this is a perfect alternative when you can't play outside yeah exactly <laughs> So and it's it's real nice because my like I'm sure Chill is running into this too. You know the kids are stuck in the house, nothing, and it gives her something to look forward to well, is playing with her aunt TT. So well, it's really cool. Well, Chill is fine because his his child is is serving him lunch. So it's that's just twenty minutes a day. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then twenty minutes is a very short period of time in the in the the span of the the average the waking hours of a, of a child, mm-hmm. um, mm-hmm. It, it, finding things to do. I will say my navigating Google Hangouts has become a how Google Hangouts and, and FaceTime have become a household item. Mm-hmm. Um, that's a big one. And then carrying on, you know, Roblox, Minecraft, I'm, I'm questioning, should I get, animal crossing because if that <laughs> if i give him that then i lose probably control of my switch yeah yeah yep. uh, uh katie so uh, i'm familiar of course when uh we we all got on animal crossing on the phone uh so so how expanded is that experience versus what i'm used to if, if i'm a newbie coming in from like the iphone animal crossing it's it's interesting because it's it's still like very similar thing where you're just running around the island doing tasks pulling weeds shaking trees i get stung by wasps daily um, I will learn how to defend myself against wasps with a net soon, hopefully. <laughs> um, like one of your earlier, I'm four, I'm four days in, I'm trying to think of like earlier tasks is you start collecting fossils and different creatures to set up a museum. And once you get the museum, it's massive. It's so pretty inside. It, it's, it, there's a butterfly section and a dinosaur section and a uh, fish section. So the fish have their own little <laughs> little um aquariums and they're massive they're massive aquariums and then like the outside with the butterflies reminds me of phipps and it's, it's just really cool with this giant museum you get to run around and you have dinosaur bones and i'm like oh it's like being it's being outside being <laughs> you know the carnegies but here in my house nice nice so was so <clears throat> you have these tasks and then do you accumulate points or you just complete the cat task to get to the next one does it go on forever or is there a yeah, point there's plenty to do for this to go on forever um you, you either have bells which is your currency or miles um miles are kind of like more task driven and then you can use those miles to fly to like either random items or you could just like pillage them because they're just computer islands so just take whatever you want from them <laughs> and then you're recruiting other people to come move to your island and uh, you're trying to build a Nook store, which which is really weird because a lot of this is Nook. They, they use the word Nook a lot, like the Nook store and stuff. And uh, okay, but, that's because yeah. I've heard a lot of people talking about Nooks over on Twitter for the last week, and I'm like, are we talking about the Barnes and Noble tablet? <laughs> no. Like, is there a weird like cross branding that's happening here? I'm not aware of. They're bringing it back. They're bringing it back. Yes. But you're building tools. You're chasing, like daily. It's chasing butterflies, picking up seashells. 
um, catching fish, shaking trees for twigs and breaking rocks. It, it's it's a lot, like I said, it's a lot of just like really nice mindless tasks. <laughs> it's it's a it's a chore simulator. <laughs> yeah, pretty much it is, and you are absolutely indebted to the this uh, Tom Nook fella. Mm-hmm. who brings you to the island and he's like oh yeah by the way i brought you to the island you owe me um i think it's like 90 99,000 bells so you have to work off that debt and if you want a bigger house you have to pay that off and then he's like well i built you a bigger house now you owe me 198,000 <laughs> bells wait so it's like a debt simulator so yeah there's a debt sim- yeah it's yeah, just I like don't... real life but animals but it's <laughs> <laughs> what is wait a minute so this is really preparing kids for the real world in the long run oh yeah <laughs> absolutely you go run around do tasks to make money to pay off your house <laughs> this guy said he just gave you <laughs> thank you nicer <laughs> it's really funny here's my favorite hot tip on this whole thing is there's a nintendo switch app on your phone mm. and if you download the nintendo switch app you can there's a, a feature where i can chat with um, my best friends mm-hmm a whole nother process there um but like charlotte and i could chat and instead of like having this keyboard and having to like scroll over a b you know whatever if you have the app on your phone you can chat with that and use a keyboard like a normal keyboard nice. you feel like you can type so many characters but yeah so that's a little bit of a challenge you start doing a little bit like twitter shorthand yeah <laughs> bring it around i like it you i get- like it you could do, you could always use the uh, text to or speech to text. Hit the microphone and just say what you want. Yeah, that does. Too. But the mic doesn't turn off. It, oh, is something I I dislike because I'll go out of the app and you, you know how you can still see that the app is still listening. Mm-hmm. Um, so when you leave the app, it's still listening. That's scary. You're gonna hear a story about yeah. that sooner or later. Yeah. So I don't. I didn't like that, and I turned that off <laughs> real quick because I was like, oh, that's no. Wow. Wow. So Animal Crossing, another reason to get the Switch. Uh, so uh, it, it seems like everybody's picking up one or or is has picked up, like physically picked up theirs in the last week. I've been hearing a lot, seeing a lot of tweets about everybody getting on their Nintendo Switch, especially uh, during all their lockdowns. So c- can you play just real quick? Because I'm looking at it now. Um, mm-hmm. It's 60 bucks, but it looks like it supports tabletop mode, which means two players can play simultaneously with the joy cons. Yes. My brother and uh, Charlotte both play like that. Um, okay. they, they, like they'll um, both run around their Island. It's kind Does of like it one split screen. Like how do you see who's where or do you kind of have to roam around together? It's like a Sonic and tails kind of thing. Okay. Where somebody's like the dominant, you know, one doing the task and the one's a helper. Awesome. So, yeah, you can run around and pretty much just, you know, pick up for your kids. Find all the stuff for your kids. Wow. Be their assistant. And it's really <laughs> cool because you can import. This is another fun thing is you can import uh, for, with using QR codes to get different designs for your clothes and the walls. So, like, people who have had previous versions of Animal Crossing and had different clothes, you can import those in with a QR code. Or you can draw them and get a QR code. So they fancy pants. Nice. So are people like swapping QR codes online, like the yes. like drugs it's a thing now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad QR codes have come around. So uh, my awesome thing for this week is uh, y- you guys have noticed if you're if you're a watcher of you know an ongoing watcher of like things like Daily Show, Colbert, Fallon, um, it's kind of interesting to watch everybody in the high end um, production television industry. Um, using the same tools we are. <laughs> so to the effect that, so, so Colbert, uh, Colbert and Fallon, I think have both been doing monologues, like 10 to 10 to 15 minute, um, shows, which looks like they're filmed on their iPhones. And, uh, those are being, those, those last I knew were being put in front of, um, reruns. Like they'll have a new monologue that they did like from their home. And you saw like Jimmy Fallon with like his kid, like hanging off of him as he's trying to read the, <laughs> the jokes and, and, and the kids not laughing at him and his wife holding the phone is, um, and, and Colbert has been like, you know, in his bathtub or is stoking a fire outside or something. Um, so Trevor Noah has been doing these ones. I've been watching on YouTube over the last week and, uh, and, and, 
it's the uh, uh, daily social distancing show with Trevor Noah now. <laughs> and again, it's been like they've been doing Skype. They've been doing this. They've been doing interviews with doctors like, like you know, him, you know, the rest of the staff has been uh, uh, doing stuff as well. And they had some releases through the past week. Um, this has been a digital thing. But now starting, well, I started last night, actually. This is becoming what they are broadcasting on uh, on Comedy Central in, in place of the the daily show since nobody can go to the studio. Um, on top of that, it kind of my awesome thing is kind of this general kind of trend that's going on. Oprah debuted a free Apple TV series discussing uh, what's going on with COVID-19. And also, and I watched a little bit of it. It was her and her, I guess, a longtime guest, um, this, uh, 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 I think it was a pastor or a preacher, preacher or something. Um, and it was, you know, the... It, it it's what I fear when I have somebody on the show that hasn't been on before and they're like on a phone and it's very um delayed <laughs> and and very kind of sketchy looking. Um so and it's and it's freaking Oprah, you know? <laughs> to that extent. Um I mean we've been seeing this I mean we've seen this for a while and it's been ramped up here on you know your CNNs and everybody are, are have been bringing a, a guest in over Skype for a while now. I even see it on WWE sometimes, like you know, when they'll just have somebody call in, uh, talking about I don't know, match or something. Some legends like Hulk Hogan from his beach shop or something like that, right? Mm-hmm. So it, it it's just it's just interesting to see this and for how many years we've been working at this and kind of perfecting what we're doing now. You know, like even like hey, you're like on your phone, aren't you? Like that, and and that looks pretty decent. You know, in comparison to what I'm seeing, like like the big names do, um, it's kind of it's kind of astonishing to see everybody's kind of on this uh, uh, level playing field, and that's what we see on television. You're going to see a lot of this. Like everybody's basically going to get used to seeing Skype lag d- conversations because <laughs> they're all making they're all making like rookie mistakes when they're getting into this. Mm-hmm. So and I can't. Who, who was it? Um... Conan was doing on his iPhone. I know Apple Music, their Beats One radio station, Zane Lowe was broadcasting from his house. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I, I think um, I saw Tall Kathy with uh, Kiss here locally is starting to broadcast from us. That's a little easier because it's radio and it's usually they, like they have a direct connection in and, and, and you know it's just audio, but like the Skype thing gets a little more tricky. Yeah, I definitely agree. But I, it's interesting too because I see. I see a, I see an increase and I wonder what will happen when this is all over. I see an increase in, in people just video conferencing versus audio. It's, I don't know if it's people looking for a connection on the other side of the, the internet or, or what's causing people to go to that more video based platform, even in our house, there's a lot more FaceTime calls coming in versus just someone calling Mm -hmm. um same Mm -hmm. thing at at, at work i see more people turning on the camera um it's 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 definitely interesting and i I can't was it wta i saw i saw someone and i can't remember from what news who it was and what news channel but they were doing a lot of their interviews over facebook live Mm -hmm. in fact i think the uh Carla's boss who owns a salon in Mount Lebanon, La Pompane, um, they're being interviewed and I by I think it's WTA and I think that's how they're they're doing it. It's just a Facebook Live or a Skype meeting. Mm-hmm. And, and in most cases they get to post edit it, so they get to maybe, you know, hopefully take time and kind of roll over some of those those issues uh along the way. Uh, you know, unless they do, do a live spot or something like that. But it's kind of interesting to see where they you know where they're going with that and we're gonna have more discussions about kind of that uh video conversation thing including some things that have been going wrong with some platforms uh here in a moment but first i want to give a shout out to our friends hey in this time when you need when you need to, to you want to support our, our local businesses in, in everything that's going on you know uh, uh here in pennsylvania of course uh nobody's allowed to eat in at a restaurant or anything and of course uh delivery is the option you know from your eating parks to you know i, I saw a steakhouse down we took a we, we took a we took a drive around the city today to see how how empty things were actually like through oakland and downtown and i saw like an old steakhouse that now has curbside delivery and i don't know that they ha- it looked like the 
sign just got put up. <laughs> so, um, and our good friend Slice on Broadway, well, those guys are experts in delivery. They already got this thing down, and they looked as big as busy as ever when I rolled in there uh, tonight to pick up our sponsor pizza. Go check them out, supporting Pittsburgh Podcasting with the Perfect Pep Brian Pizza, and please, this is the time, if you are able to support them back, pick yourself a, a slice uh, uh, in from one of their four locations in Beachview, Carnegie, the East End, and PNC Park here in the Pittsburgh area. There was what was it? There was a there was one I was trying to find uh, uh, something that we shared a little bit ago. Uh, like one of the pirates or penguins like ordered four hundred pizzas from them recently. Yeah, it was, so it was four hundred pizzas between them and uh, Pizza David on and the Strip District. Nice, but there was a nice there was a nice write up in the uh, trip. I'll put it in the uh, chat. Awesome. Good to see you guys are out there supporting them. I know I hear about uh, some people wording it in their times of quarantine. So uh, uh, go check them out. Thanks a lot. Slice on Broadway. Sliceonbroadway.com. PGH underscore slice on the Twitter. Slice did over 300 pizzas from the location at PNC Park and did them for uh, Allegheny General. That was the other one. So cool. Awesome. Awesome. Was that the same one we're talking about or was that? Oh, I think it's the same one. Okay. Um, so let's get into the stories that you guys posted over on the Facebook page for awesome cast. Uh, Hey Riz. And I think we talked, we talked about this. I think it was my awesome thing last week. Uh, the Netflix party that lets you wa- have movie night with your friends. I want to caution people with that. Cause I, I, I have not had a chance to jump into it, but somebody else did on one of the other podcasts I listened to. I know Chachi has been trying to use it and there's been some weird ads for them. So so be careful with your login there. And again, these guys kind of popped up out of nowhere. So apologies if you guys are in that. So there might be a little bit of a question mark on the validity of that one there. There you go. And that, that article is in the chat room for you guys there. We'll see about putting that in the notes too. Uh, let's see. This came out of nowhere. And our friend Amanda Narcissi, who's uh, our, our Apple, our, our usual Apple connection here. Uh, iPad Pro <laughs> was unveiled last week. Including, um, was that LiDAR? Your iPads are going to have LiDAR, Chilla? Yes, LiDAR, and, and they, it's, it's, this, it's a modified version of last year's chip. Um, but yes, the cameras have been configured on the back to kind of, kind of resemble the, uh, the iPhone, what is it now, the 12 Pro? Mm-hmm. Um, and it, it, yes, it has time, like it's some kind of time of flight, and it's supposed to help out with with the AR um, feature functionality. So, uh, new keyboard. I think there was a backlit keyboard that was included in this. Is that right? I'll tell you what. I'm very interested in the, and I'll put a. Uh, I, that was actually going to be one of my things, but if we can, we can cover it right now because it should be pretty quick. I'll go in under Amanda's topic if I can find it and put in the link to the keyboards. Um, so they actually came out with a new keyboard. Um, it is backlit. It is based on the same connector as the 2018 iPad pro. Um, and it has passed through USB C for charging. So you can use the USB-C on the on the side of the iPad, um, but you can still charge it with the keyboard base. The keyboard base also kind of elevates it up, and it kind of floats in midair. Hey, that um, was, whoa! Dude. Wait, wait. So like, like, like your floating iMac you have in the studio? Yes. Yeah, so if you go to the link that I put in there, yeah, I'm looking at it right um, here. Scroll part way down the page they have like a side by Mm -hmm. and it kind of shows the ipad pro levitating a couple inches off the keyboard look at that and you'll notice the trackpad yeah (laughs) um it's now included there's a video that apple put together i think and they published on maybe it was the verge last week um that shows the trackpad um in live and in use um it's pretty cool because it kind of converts to a cursor when you're floating around the screen but as you hover over buttons and things that you would want to interact with it kind of modifies the cursor um to be more of a pre-touch signal um very cool in the way that works and i wonder if we'll see that kind of transfer over to mac os at least for some of their applications 
Um, the keyboard, I think, starts at what, like $250, though, for the smaller one. The other interesting thing, though, is the the new keyboard is backwards compatible with the, tw- the 2018 iPad Pro. So you don't necessarily have to update to this device to make use of the new keyboard. Because it's using the same pogo pin connector. And the situation with the mouse is actually going to be backwards compatible to the uh, the the OS. So, and so when you think about it, though, too, keep in mind that um, if you have a touchpad or a mouse, your device that 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 key that mouse, um, the way that mouse piece works, mm-hmm. is actually based on iOS the the. Um, the new version of iOS that launched uh, yesterday. 13.4? Yeah, 13.4. So you can actually, you or anyone with anybody that can run 13.4 can get this type of mouse interaction. Obviously, it's not going to be integrated into a keyboard that's going to cling to the back of your, your iPad, like what they're designing here. But you can do this on your iPad, on an iPad Air, um, and anything that can run 13.4. Wow. Wow. So uh, this is this, this really like it looks like and feel looks like it's going to feel like more and more laptopy. Uh, and yes. again, it starts at like eight hundred dollars without the keyboard, so it, it's also priced comparable to the new uh, uh, MacBook Air that was just announced as well, which actually came down. And I would say is um, based on some of the early specs that we're seeing, because um, people are starting to get delivery devices and there's um, devices out for review from Apple. Um, If you're not concerned about LiDAR and the augmented reality stuff. Yeah. um, They're not as of right now. And they're saying, you know, the Geekbench applications and whatnot may need upgraded. Um, But there is not that much of a difference in the raw Um, performance metrics coming off the new bionic 12 Z processor. Um, But that keyboard starts at, sorry, two ninety nine. Yeah. So it's expensive. So you're looking at like $1,100 for that. Uh, Katie, I know you're, you're kind of more recently upgraded in your, your MacBook situation there. Uh, Do do you, do you see like iPad as an option as a, as a smaller <laughs> form or replacement in the future for you? Cause I know you, you, I, do, you do mostly social media stuff. Yeah, I think I definitely, it, ah, it, this darn tarantula keeps jumping out at me. <laughs> <laughs> it, like, like that whole time Tilla was talking, I was running around in circles, my Island. Cause this tarantula was chasing me. It wouldn't stop. So I don't know what to do. I knew this was the perfect <laughs> time to ask you a technical question. Exactly. It's really funny because I was thinking about, well, between like being able to do a lot more on the iPad, um, there's a puzzle game that I kind of wanted on the iPad where the puzzle pieces are aligned on the outside and you put the puzzle together. And that looked like fun. <laughs> nice. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think, I, I don't know, like I keep, I keep wishing that I had something smaller so I didn't have to take, not that my laptop's super heavy or big. Yeah. But it, Definitely, it would be a lot easier to, you know, just sit down and go, okay, let's go through this real quick. It, the- it's nice having something that doesn't need to boot yeah. sometimes. So, so here's a question for you. What's your thoughts on, you know, what what if they put out a final cut for the iPad? Oh, game Ooh. on. Game on. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Because imagine, I mean if you think about it right you have a you have a touch screen there you're not used to using a touch screen now you can plug into a 4k monitor mm-hmm. you have a mouse you have a keyboard mm-hmm. um we're getting there we're getting there it's and what what interested or what surprised me is when they were showing the geek bench scores it wasn't just them comparing it to last the the 2018 iPad Pro it was them comparing it to like the 2015 or 2016 MacBook Pro um, and showing comp, I think it was the MacBook Pro and the MacBook Air. Um, and they were showing comparable 
compute scores, um, especially on video compression. Jeez. <laughs> And, and Amanda's in the chat room saying that I just teen was editing audio on hers. I mean, you have garage band, like you could, you could absolutely be editing your podcast on an iPad. What was the, um, is it Fahrenheit? What was the, the one guy that was at pod camp many, many years ago that had, that he had a whole mm -hmm. workflow built around the iPad and back then he was using the camera connector kit with the USB. Yeah. Well, even I, I gave that tip because I, we, we, uh, uh, the upgrade for some of the podcast projects we're doing, I, I gave my old blue snowball to Matt Carlin's and I was like, Hey, you know, cause his laptop seems to be a little kind of, uh, chunky as far as the video goes. So I'm like, Hey, you mm -hmm. have an iPad, right? Like if you get the little connector kit, you can plug that directly in with the, with the blue snowball and that just podcast from there you know, or, you know, stream from there with a with hangout or, or whatever the case may be. So yeah, no, it, it there's those options have been there. It's just having a full fledged uh, editor. And there's one, I think I mentioned it on the show a few weeks ago, because somebody was asking me about editing on his new iPad. And I was like, well, there are full feature editors out there. I wouldn't edit a three hour, three camera shoot of a pro wrestling show. Well, you mm -hmm. can, you're going to get a lot done if you're just doing YouTube videos, right? or highlight videos or something like that. I'm like, mm -hmm. like, if you're just, you know, like, like, you know, Katie, I mean, uh, you're probably not doing a lot of long videos. It's more kind of short form social media that like the iPad is kind of perfect for something like that. If not your phone. Yeah. So. Well, it's just like, I mean, there's so many moments where I'm on my phone. I'm like, I just wish it was a little bit bigger so I could get a little more finite, you know, trying to like cut things down. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and Amanda said boss jock. That was the name of the app. Yep. Fahrenheit boss said Jack. a different one, but boss jock was, was out yeah. that was a good one uh my brother let me know that uh and i saw this but man i wish i had some more time to jump into it jay and silent bob mall brawl on steam it was announced this past weekend um and it was part of their f current game festival going out with free demos until monday so i think this is over the weekend uh entirely but um, so that was that was cool. Um, so out of nowhere, si Jay and Silent Bob have a video game and it looks like an old 8 bit. Uh, I want to say River City Ransom esque, <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, very 8 bit. And, and apologies, I have to switch up here because the iPad died, but that's OK. We're flexible. Oh, no, it's not working yet. We'll get that going. Uh, but uh, yeah, no, it's, it's small brawl, you know, kind of more based on the old um the old uh or like uh, a dungeon or a double dragon yeah like a double dragon kind of situation there we go mm -hmm. that should do it that should show nope do you, do you think this is a hint that the, i mean i've heard they're gonna do another mall rats uh yeah that's <laughs> been in the works i think they're, they're up to doing a series for some platform last i heard so they got the rights from universal because they weren't doing anything with it good that look actually that character this character here looks just like one from yeah it looks very 8-bit uh, Double Dragon uh, here. So uh, definitely something worth checking out. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, Dave Podner. This one's for you, Katie. Uh, Portland Strip Clubs are starting a curbside food delivery service called Boober Eats. They are not entirely topless. They have their pasties. I think that helps the legality of the situation. I'm no expert in that. So... <laughs> Um, people are getting inventive. <laughs> so yeah. people are getting a very, very, oh God, there's a video. There's a video as well. <laughs> oh no. What did I, oh, the ads are going nuts on this. Yeah. She's knocking. I, I'm pretty sure I'm good to show this. It's just a little bit of side boob. Um, but it's happening. This guy doesn't look as excited as he probably should be. Maybe just confused, but, uh, but there he goes. I, I think he would know since he ordered the food where he ordered it from. <laughs> That is true. <laughs> this shouldn't be a surprise, right? <laughs> I, I wouldn't think so. Except for maybe, did they actually do this? Um, let's see. Uh, and speaking of um, some naughty things, we mentioned Zoom before. Apparently, Zoom has had a problem with um, <laughs> um, porn bobbing. Um, there's a big public Zoom uh, that is called WFH Happy Hour. Uh, it's a it's a daily public Zoom call has has tons of people. The pictures are shown here. I mean, there's it, it's a screen full of people from the looks of it, right? Um, apparently, if the defaults for Zoom, you are you drop in, you kind of have I guess kind of full access, 
and somebody keeps jumping in and playing two girls, one cup. I'm not going to describe oh, no. that for you. Um, and uh, so they do have tips on here. So if you An- are, another throwback to like 1997, I know. While we're at it, right? <laughs> we're, just, we're just all the hits. My wife rickrolled somebody the other day. I mean, they're all coming back. So just if you're using Zoom, uh, maybe you should enable co-host so other people can help uh, moderate. Especially if you're doing a big one, allow removed. Uh, uh, disable allow remove participants to rejoin because they can just jump in under a new uh, uh, username and just do the same thing uh, <laughs> disable file transfer oh no <laughs> that's a default file transfer that's that's like dick pic city um, make sure join before host isn't switched on so no one can uh, mess up your call before you're even in it and you can also switch, switch uh, screen sharing to host only Probably all amazing ideas when it comes. If this happened to us, I, I don't know if uh, you guys may not have been doing this shows with us at the maybe Katie you were, but we would do Google Hangouts and we would do these public Google Hangouts because you could stream them then to uh, YouTube at the time, like directly, like you, uh, Hangouts mm-hmm. taking all these capabilities out. But you'd have somebody pop in, and I think they were playing porn or something, and it would yeah. get weird, or it was like it was like it was almost a chat roulette kind of thing uh, hey, katie were you around for those days i don't think so but that's hilarious <laughs> <laughs> so like you know nothing new nothing new um related and this is actually from a wrestling chat that i'm in um um porn hub is promoting a stay-at-home hub they are giving free premium uh to everybody to the world to help flatten the curb for coronavirus. Oh, I thought that was I thought that was only in Italy. No, that's it was in Italy. Now it's everywhere. Well, it, I I saw that in the chat and it was a related story. So, I meant to drop a, we'll drop a link in there uh here eventually. But uh and 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 to the point where from the looks of it when you when you log into it it actually changes Pornhub to stay at home hub in your <laughs> interface. So, and, and I think it drops in some tips for coronavirus as well. So, um doing their part to help you out and making sure you're occupied while you're home. So <laughs> there you go. Um went to a quick break here. I got another actually I got a couple of stories I want to touch on that uh that uh Missy uh and Missy uh, uh, dropped that porn bombing uh map producer Missy is uh, dropped that porn bombing uh Zoom story in there as well. But guys, in the meantime, if you're looking for options to stay connected during this whole uh, social distancing situation, I mean, we've been uh, uh, modifying all of our plans uh, over the last uh, couple of days here and keeping things going and helping out. We actually had some great calls this week with uh, our, our new friends, Steam Fitters. They're working on moving their educational uh, uh, facilities online and, and figuring out uh, interfacing with between like go to meetings and, and blackboards and things like that. Uh, we're chatting with some other people. Uh, we've we've uh, uh, also helped with uh, uh, you know everything from wrestling events to churches getting on the live stream side to teleconferencing everywhere in between uh, this team here at Sidekick Media Services. We've got you covered with streaming options and uh, we can be a sidekick to your superhero project and damn it, some people need a superhero these days because it's fast moving and uh, a lot of things going on. What big, next big thing can we help you with? Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com all right, uh, to roll that back to that, this was, I love this one that popped up today. Um, there is a, nope, that is the Pornhub thing. Not going to open that up online. Uh, a cowboy museum put their head of security in charge of Twitter, and his tweets are hilariously wholesome, according to the story at, the story at Board Panda. This is awesome. Katie, did you look through some of these tweets? I know I, know I oh, shared I this. Was- I was loving it. It was they're they're really funny. I, it, it 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 I wish I don't know. It, there's always you know working in social media. There's the doubt in me that mm-hmm. this is kind of it's not a hundred percent authentic, but it looks authentic and I love it. <laughs> it, it it's authentic enough to be just wonderful. <laughs> yeah, just just enjoy it for what it is. Is my advice on that guy. So so here's a picture of the fellow, and he looks like a security guard that would be at a cowboy museum. He's got a cowboy hat. He's got a nice mustache. He says, hello, my name is Tim, and I'm the head of security for the cowboy. I've been asked to take on the additional duty of social media management. Nobody's there. He's there anyways. Why not, right? And I love to the point where um, there was something in here while he's showing, like, here's a hat and eye patch, the Duke wore in the, in the movie True Grit. 
And he says, da 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 da. Um, um, hashtag John Wayne. And he says, he spells out <laughs> hashtag John Wayne. Lucas, my grandson, told me to use hashtags. Thanks, Tim. <laughs> I this is Twitter tips, please. Sorry, thought I was Googling that. Thanks. That's where it's like, really? Did that really happen? <laughs> but also, I here's another here's his boots at, spelled out hashtag John Wayne. Thanks, Tim. Uh Lucas, Lucas, can you read this? <laughs> so uh there's a there's a Dorothy Dorothy Lang uh uh photo, uh politics of seeing a, a, a photo thing that he's 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 uh showing off and he says uh, uh uh that is a photo of her she looks like someone i'd, I'd have a beer with <laughs> it's amazing go check that out that's at board panda we got the link in the in the notes as well uh so i just i love the whole creativity behind that though because it's i think a lot of the businesses are trying to you want to still connect with your customers and you still want to be relevant but you don't want to be insensitive and you might not have anything to sell or offer right now like how do you keep connecting with your customers and i love that they really thought outside the box with this one yeah it really is kind of a people need to still remember you when this is all over to go back right so yeah like you don't want to totally disappear off the face of the earth if your business is on social media Mm -hmm. uh katie any of these stories you want to hit up before uh we get out of here have, have we talked about the Adobe getting two months free on the Adobe um, Creative Cloud? No, so and I, damn it, my my Adobe just renewed, so I need to get on that. No, so. but it's 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 legit. So uh, I put it a link in the doc. But uh, Adobe Creative Cloud is giving students free access mm-hmm. without a license with everything going on, and they're also giving people like us who are you know have a subscription to Adobe Creative Cloud two months for free, and it's really easy. And I just had cat butt yep. behind me. There you go. Cat butt. Um, yes, we are we're, we are completely cat butt cut of the awesome cast. Uh, also, hashtag. So, any, so is it for? Is it? Are they just extending everyone's subscription by two months? Do you have to put in? You have, you have to go in and cancel. Like you put in the you go through the process like you're going to cancel, and then it offers you two months for free. Mm. And then they just credit your account for two months. To be fair, I've done this several times. <laughs> <laughs> uh because you're like ah 50 bucks a month is kind of steep and they'll actually like yeah. they'll, they'll give you discounted rates like right now like i'm paying 30 bucks a month for mine uh so so and still kind of tough sometimes um but yeah no they they, they so just like when you're you're trying to uh chicken chicken challenge your cable provider to give you a cheaper plan apparently adobe uh is on the same principle so uh, you don't even have to talk to someone. To no, you don't. No, you don't. You just go through the prompts, <laughs> and you're not actually canceling. It's it gives you a lot of are you sure prompts, and and hey, mm-hmm. here's an option, and you just kind of like see what you end up with. I I think I've done this twice, but the to know that there's like the two free uh, going on right now, it, and and this is and it's specifically like in response, right? Like it, it, what you give a notice that it's because yes. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, so uh, give that a shot. I mean, and there's a lot of lot of uh, places that are kind of looking at uh, uh, ways they can help you with that too. So um, there's a tip for dutters in here. Oh, who, man. who put that in there? I put that in there. Oh, all right, chill out. It, it's about it's about tarantula islands and 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 <laughs> all farming. Oh, jeez. Save me from the tarantula. I, I saw it when I was. Uh, Looking for other news. Polygon, how to find or create a tarantula island to make bells in Animal Crossing. There you go. Was that what all the crates are for? I don't know. You can display your animals. Like the things you catch, you can display them outside your house. Like if you went to my house right now, um, there are some, you collect fossils and sometimes you get duplicates. There Mm -hmm. are two chunks of like literal dinosaur, like midsections and a quarter of a wrestling ring in my house right now. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Why, why do you have a corner of a wrestling ring? I had no idea. It was like, it was one of those things because like presents will drop from the sky and they'll have furniture in there. And that was the furniture was a corner of a wrestling ring. So I'm hoping I get the other parts of it, but I'm not sure. So yeah, because that's that was one thing that perplexed me in the Animal Cross tweets over the weekend was there was this article about um, that you can do, I guess you can do flyovers over the other people's islands. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. And and something about there was something astonishing about everybody displaying their crates. Mm-hmm. Like I don't know if were they like kind of can you like put them in patterns or something? Was that what was happening? You 
Yeah, so like you could, whenever you find things, you can display them indoors or outdoors. So um, if you have like, like the tarantulas are in the little crates. It looks like the little hermit crab boxes that you get. Yeah. They're just like little okay. plastic lid on top. And uh, some of the other ones are a little bit fancier when you have like aquatic, like fish and stuff outside of your house. But you can display anything you want outside to, you know, make it look like your place. That's awesome. That's awesome. From giant... <laughs> we got we got a uh, crappy in the chat room saying no one said anything about giant spiders. <laughs> in all caps. I need so. fire. <laughs> Oh jeez! Anything else you guys want to touch on before we head out? I think I'm good. Yes, good. Yes. All right, guys. Hey, we got a lot of things going on, despite the fact that we can't let anybody in our door here at the studio. Uh, so, it, so I hope everybody is staying home. Obviously, everybody here tonight is wrestling mayhem show. I don't. I think we have like like 50 people on tonight's show usually that we cram in the studio for Patreon in the bank, and they're all coming digitally somehow somehow uh if that animal crossing is slow tonight dutters it's probably our fault uh so uh there's that but we do have a a lot going on here uh we still have new episodes in the works for fishing without bait a new podcast that matt carlin's put together uh called listen to your parents we have a facebook page for that that's over on our sorgatron media feed sorgatronmedia.com if you want to go listen to the first episode subscribe to the master feed so you get it uh, in your uh, podcatcher and also the, the live stream it looks like we're selling at 9 p.m on thursdays uh for the time being and just something for parents to um kind of talk about how things are going in this situation uh chilla i know you express some interest in <laughs> kind of connecting with that too uh with doug because i know doug uh, uh Durda was kind of involved with uh some online schooling uh situation tonight for instance um also we are teaming up with our friends at you jag off uh the uh, podcast uh they are doing a series and initially this was going to be something we were going to do right here in the studio but again with everything going on uh modifying plans a little bit uh but they're doing a special artist feature series uh that's going to be on facebook live for you jag off we're probably going to put a bunch of other places too uh but we're going to have i believe it's four weeks of artists and uh comedians and things like that going on and that is going to be kicking off wednesday night at 7 30 p.m and our first guest uh this week is going to be colin chamberlain and living with monsters are going to be with us for that so go check that out it's going to be our first time doing this there's gonna be a lot of moving parts for a live show so it's more than a couple of talking heads like we do on this show and animal crossing with giant spiders apparently uh but uh it's going to be interesting go check it out uh we'll be live again 7 30 uh more or less uh, tomorrow night, uh, Wednesday night, the 25th. And we're going to be, and we, we're scheduled through, uh, throughout through, uh, April 15th. Um, Samantha Bentley and Jess Klein, Jess Klein. I just, we just saw perform on a zoom call. Thanks to Scott McTaggart, uh, the other night. Uh, I believe Jess Klein and the good times is their band. If I recall at the top of my head, uh, Ray Zawadina, Byron Nash featured Aaron Cliver, who's been on this show, uh, comedian and Justin Wade, Cal Calcetic, I'm going to say, um, all going to be part of this over the next four weeks. So an exciting thing we're working on here and there's sponsors on the show is, uh, the artists are being paid, uh, to help them through these times too. So please go check it out. Hopefully, it, it, you know, support these artists, support what Jagoff's doing. And, uh, I look forward to seeing you guys in the chat room for that. Uh, chilla, chilla tech.net. John chill on the Twitter's chill on the Facebook. And Katie, you're all over the internet. I know I saw you streaming on Instagram last night. We delayed the beginning of our wrestling show because I wanted to see what was going on. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I've been. Uh, I I decided to go live last night. Uh, today was my last really rough round of chemo before I get to start like the little bit easier ones. Nice. And uh, so I, I did a, a night before a night before chemo. What is it like? And <laughs> it was so much fun. Matt Light jumped in, mm -hmm. and um, him and I were just kind of going back and forth about the stuff, and we're definitely. At some point, going to have to digitally, hopefully in person soon, mm -hmm. fingers crossed, mm -hmm. get together and just like just talk about how dumb the whole thing is. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. He has the same mentality I do. This is dumb. This is a waste of time. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I mean, you had you had good visual aids. So, like I saw your 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 kind of curve for the for the chemo treatments. Yeah. Yeah. So. My little my mountain climber like on. Uh, price is right yes <laughs> do you have that's all i hear it's like you know, 
So, so, so that's, that's as you're getting ready for the next one going up the hill, you just have the yodeler in the back of your head from Princess yes, Ray. That's exactly what I have. Because mm-hmm. we all watched that over the summertime <laughs> growing up. So awesome. Uh, where can people follow you again? Uh, a lot of stuff on Kate Marie PGH, but I've been posting a little. Well, yeah, Kate Marie PGH is most of my stuff on Instagram where I've been posting most of the things. It's just a little bit easier and fun for me <laughs> excellent and thank you everybody thank you producer missy for keeping traffic copying me a little bit over here as well and thank you guys everybody in the chat room i saw a lot of people hopping through the night including you know i'll give some shout outs since i see it scott mctaggart go check out his pitch words podcast i know he's been doing some zoom calls we talked about last week uh uncle crappy he's hanging out there i don't know how he's doing beer me right now uh but <laughs> man Man, it's tough times. Um, and somebody said, wait, what was this earlier? Hashtag John Wayne says Amanda. Uh, so I think that's our show title for tonight. Uh, thank you, everybody. We'll be back here at 7 p.m. Uh, next week. Uh, uh, you've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.